Hey guys, so absolutely zero idea how this can benefit you, but yeah, maybe, but yeah, maybe some Da Vinci is under my subscribers and get a cool idea. And before we start with our amazing tutorial, I've just launched a brand new plasticity course with four incredible separate products, a sci-fi prop, a super detailed grenade, a complex drone concept, and the DJI Mavic Pro 3 camera. The entire course is explained in step-by-step -step details, no fast forwards or silent gaps, so everything is structured and edited professionally. First link in the description, let's dive into our tutorial. So basically let's go to the top view and create a circle and then what we need, we need to go to the front view and we need to create a line 45 degrees so we just drag it out, press tab and tab so we can type in the value of 45, right click so we have this and now we have to press E to extrude it uh, this way so we can use it as a construction plane. So if we press tab and we select this face, double click and press um, spacebar, then you see our plane is here in 45 degrees. So this is what we need. And now we just go again, create a new circle and drag it outwards. So something like that. So we have this shape here. Now we can go out of that because it's confusing. We can delete this thing here and we will just create a line along our whole workspace. And now we will use this curve and press F and search for cut curve. So we will cut this circle with this curve, right click. So you see we have those separate and the same we will do for here. So we select the circle, press F and search for cut curve and cut it with this curve, right click, we can delete this curve here and now we have everything separate. So now pretty easy, we just select those two and press L. So you see we have a loft, okay, we will do the same for here, select with shift, press L, loft it, right click, let's delete all of those edges, we don't need it. Press tab, so you are in object mode, let's select those surfaces, press J to join them. Yeah, basically now what we can do is we will create here a circle in the middle and drag it out, press S, make it ellipse and let's drag it with G a little bit out. So we go again to the top view, we select this curve, we go here to radial array and array it along the middle and yeah, number 12 or something. Okay, all of those are selected, press C. Select our body here and you see it's cutting it. So we can alt click those curves, delete them and select everything and control click and deselect our main body. So yeah, we can just delete our circles and now just select this body and here thicken a sheet. You have a command so you can give a nice little thickness, press tab. So you also go to the other side, press OK. And yeah, that's basically it. Select now everything and deselect those little um, yeah, extra edges and deselect those one here. And let's give them a little fillet. So that looks fine. And also those and those with Alt and Shift click. So everything is selected. Let's give it also a nice little fillet. And yeah, that's basically it. And if you have something that you can use that for, <laughs> let me know, pretty interesting. So yeah, leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss those <laughs> random abstract shapes. And check out the next plasticity tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye.